So the Dynark process essentially means that you're creating a highlighted surface the way you would see a normal car. So you put on this foil called Dynark to make sure we can check the highlights exactly the way we want them. We also use up in the ceiling these straight lights so we can actually check that all the highlights all over the surface is running exactly the way we want to run. So we actually use the clay model in and out through the process of building a vehicle as a verification tool. We can go in and change small areas even late in the process of developing a vehicle. And just before we sign off the final long lead tooling, which is the steel panels, aluminum panels, we actually go in and we do a final check on the highlights with a fully Dynark vehicle, even Dynark, the glass to make sure we check that so every single detail get checked in a full size clay model. So when we talk about a clay model, obviously it's the clay modelers and that's the department is the modeling area, which is clay modeling and hard modeling. And it's a process which today flows seamlessly together with the digital process, which is alias modeling. And we constantly exchange data where we scan the clay model, put it back into the computer, use digital data, work with engineering, then we mill out these changes in clay, but then we see sometimes they're not the way we thought they were gonna be. So we then start changing it by hand in clay, scan it and bring it back. And that goes forth and back multiple, multiple times throughout the project. So sculpting and clay is still needed because it's kind of where you get that final emotional touch into essentially this big metal or aluminum shape. That's the number one point. The second point is that when you look at something on a screen, it's very hard to see the exact proportions. Just like when you see a movie and you see a movie star, sometimes you think they're taller than they really are. You see them in reality and they look different. And that's the same with a car. So we mill this out and we check the size of the different areas, the proportions of the whole vehicle. And it's actually better, I think, to make then these changes right there and then by hand, scan it and put it back into the computer. You actually save time that way. But for me, the ultimate thing is emotion. To get this sort of almost human feeling into the shape is what you need to do in clay by hand. Well, for us at Fisk, a clay model is essential. It's essential to have clay modeling because it's where you get that final human, that sculpture, that human feeling in it. And, and that's something that I would never give up. I, I think it's a must. It's nothing to do with that we don't have the best alias models in the world or alias modelers, but it's really to do with to get that final essence, almost that artistic touch out and that emotional feeling has to happen in clay. So for me, you cannot make a great car design without clay. Well, the artistic expression that happens in the clay model is probably pretty similar to what happens in digital modeling, that you have input from a designer and you have input from the modeler, and that sort of fuses together. When we talk about clay modeling, you actually see it right there and then, what's happening as you potentially are removing clay or you're adding clay. So the designer can almost say, stop, that's it, there it is. And you can discuss it sort of in real time. When you do it on a computer, you usually have the alias modeler first built a surface and then the designer takes a look at that surface. So it's a little more interactive on clay. Also, I think the fact that it's reality, you see it right there and then, you probably extract slightly more on the artistic side out of a full-size clay model. Today, we actually spend a lot more time doing digital modeling before you get to a clay model. So by the time you get to the clay model, you have a pretty good idea of the design. And it actually takes a lot of what I would have called boring clay model work out of the equation that used to happen many years ago where the clay model will block everything in from the very beginning. Today, we start with a milled out model that at least have the design sort of initial design concept there. And usually it's built with a foam buck, you then add clay, probably about 30, 40 millimeter, and then you mill out uh, this, this vehicle, this clay model, and then you start the actual sculpting, and, but you're much closer to 
where you want to be, uh, so the clay model don't don't anymore have to do some you know very early work where they just you know block everything in from scratch.